This mixed media plugin can be used in so many different ways. You can add scribble animations, rotoscope out your clips, or just use it how it is. And wait for it. We're gonna show you how to do this in under five minutes. Drop a like on the video because I'm spilling so much sauce and let's get into it. So here in After Effects, this is the clip that we want the effects to take place on. Loading up MXM, I'm gonna click Fetch Comps and click Mix Media Effect and click Launch. MXM is this brand new plugin that I found that makes mixed media style effects so easy to use. And I was able to get you guys a code. So if you use code Brian at checkout, you're gonna get $5 off your order. I think this plugin is super worth it. If you like these paper mixed media style effects, it even comes with a free scribble pack. So I think it's super worth it if you wanna save a lot of time and not have to print out frame by frame and animate it and then scan it back over to your computer. This plugin kind of solves all those issues for you. So back in MXM, once you launch it up, it'll do a bunch of stuff in the background. It kind of instantly transform your footage to look like it's kind of printed on mixed media. And now you can see I play around with the look. I like changing the scan to two times. It's just like the smallest amount of halftone and I think it looks the best. And then keeping shake and flicker on the scatter, I'm not a huge fan of. And then also keeping on damage. Now, if you go up to source, you can change the paper style. I like this last one and then bringing up the intensity all the way. You can see there are a bunch of other options here like cuts, paints, marks, and mosaic. I like them all. And then we're just gonna go ahead and play around with the color settings. This is gonna be really dependent on your footage, but just get something that looks good. I think when you overexpose a little bit and add a little bit of color to it, it makes it look really good. And then we can go back into that original comp and you can see the effect is actually removed. And that's what we want because now we want to sauce it up and everything that we do inside of here is gonna happen to that paper comp. So I'm gonna rotoscope out both of our subjects. You don't have to do the best job. It honestly looks a little bit better when it's kind of rough edges. It kind of just ties into that that paper like aesthetic. Go ahead and rotoscope out your subjects and click freeze. After that, duplicate both layers and remove the roto brush effect from the bottom of the two. That way it has the subject and then a background layer. And this is where we can kind of make some separation in between the subject and background by dragging on an effect like drop shadow and playing around with the settings. I like to leave the default settings and change it to white and then duplicate that drop shadow and make it a lot more soft and spread out. And then you can change that to whatever color you want. Maybe you just want a normal black drop shadow or you can even add colors like I did here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paste it onto this roto layer and actually keyframe the color of the drop shadow just to change throughout the clip. I think it adds a little bit more dynamic to it and I thought it looked cool. And now this is where you can start doing a little bit more collages. So I brought in another clip and I'm just cropping it to make it more of a square and then just scaling it down to fit in our frame wherever you like. And then again, adding a drop shadow on it and changing it to white and also adding the stroke effect on can give a really cool look. That way it kind of just has a border around it. And if you change the spacing, it almost has like this dot like look, which I think looks really cool in combination with the plugin. And then just doing the same thing on this clip and changing it to the bottom right and then adding another clip in and cropping it like this and applying the same effects to it. And then I thought it would be cool to duplicate the background layer and then just mask out a part, but then bring the position of it down. That way it's the same video clip, but it just has like this rectangle like area and then actually duplicate it again. And I thought it was cool to have two of them. Again, this is where you can really get creative with it and mask out and use rotoscope and different shapes, whatever you want, because this is where like the creativity comes in. And then using that free doodle pack, I'm gonna add on a few different scratches, just in different areas to spice it up a little bit, bringing this frame drawing behind the cropped video. That way it kind of has a little bit of depth to it. And then finally just dragging on the circle and rotating it behind future. That way it has a little bit more depth between our subject and the background. And then when you're all done, if you go back into that main comp, you can see every Everything you just did is now affected by this paper-like effect, and it looks amazing. If you made it to the end of the video, it's a sign that you need MXM. I'm gonna have it linked down first thing in the description. And like I said, if you use code Brian at checkout, you'll save $5, support me as a creator. Also support Fred Pele, the guy that made the plugin. I think it's super, super useful. It's already been used in music videos. I think he got a BLP kosher placement because of just the plugin, because someone wanted the mixed media style effects. So go click the link first thing in the description, go download it, play around with it, make some dope effects, and keep creating. But that's all I got for you guys in this one. Peace.